Ghost Roads is a Japanese rock and roll ghost story. And it's a, um, it's a hard day's night in Japan with a Fi Feistian twist? Yeah, Faustian. Faustian, Faust, oh. Faustian yeah, twist, is that how they say yeah, it? Faust, but, but, in, yeah, Faustian. In American English, we'd say Faustian. And not Faustian, Faustian, but anyways, with the Faustian, Faustian that guy, the devil twist. Uh -huh. And um, it's, a, it's a retro movie. It's a retro movie about a retro time, and everything's retro mm -hmm. about it. And what it is, is um, simply explained, is um, it's like those uh, U.S. horror Rock and roll horror films from the late 50s, early 60s that were like horror, but they weren't scary. And they were kind of stupid. And yeah, Ed, the acting, Ed Wood. Yeah, yeah, and the acting's kind of horrendous. Yeah, we've got all that. Yeah. In September of 2014, I got really sick and I almost died. And I was put in the hospital and uh, I was in confinement because I had just come back from the Philippines and they thought that was right around the Ebola scare thing. So they thought I had some kind of horrendous disease, <laughs> but I didn't. And, I was laying there wondering about my life and I thought, I want to make a movie. So, but we didn't have any money. And uh, I thought, okay, so if I make a movie, what do I have? I, I work at a radio station. I always help these, these rock bands. And over 30 years, I never asked any of them for anything, like help me do this. And I have a lot of clubs that I run events and like I'll run events where the, it's free. 300, 400 people get in, it's free, everything's free, and the, the bands play for free. I, in return for that, I play the music. I'm getting off in left field, but I took stock of everything I had, and then I went to one of the band's re rehearsal studios, and they have all these antique, all this antique equipment, and this is like the premier antique analog studio in, in Japan. They even have microphones from Nazi Germany, huh? Uh, compressor. Oh, uh, compressor. From, <laughs> and, and it's, you know, if you want the real sound, they've got it. And then I thought, okay, we've got this antique equipment, these rock and roll bands, clubs. Okay, we're going to make a ghost story. And that's how it just started happening. And then I got together with some people and started writing it. Didn't even know how it was going to end when we started writing it. But it came out really good thanks to, thanks to Ken and the team. And, um, yeah, and that's, that's how this happened. It's a very entertaining film. I mean, it's not a like a real art house film or anything. And, That's why uh, we were shocked that Rain Dance picked us. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's, it's, it's full of rock and roll tracks, really mm. groovy um, rock and roll tracks. So, I mean, those who like rock and roll, and you know, who doesn't? So um, they, they'll, uh, they'll find it quite entertaining. And, and it does have a sort of um, little spiritual message, as, as it says on the... Um, Poster, you know, what would you trade for fame? You know, what this uh, everlasting legend means to uh, all of us. Mm.